biosensors indicate viral and bacterial levels within acceptable norms. Halon compression system at standby. at standard OPC. gonna kill you if he finds out you were out this late with that delinquent. Billy is not a delinquent. He's got problems at home. He's got problems, all right. You're just jealous, that's all. Thank you, Kim. Oh, I'm sorry, handsome. I mean your aftershave. You like it? You get to bed right now, Missy. It's a school night, and you stay there, you hear me? Lighten up. What are you, my mother? I love it when you're masterful. I'm sorry, Cherry. Ooh. I didn't mean... Just go to bed. For the man who wants to smell manly, today is cast. And he's great in Good night, Brian. Good night, Kim. We'll return to our feature She didn't mean it, Cherry. She's just a kid. I don't know what's happened to us, Brian. Kim and I used to be so close. Relax. 
Come on, Sherry. Oh, not now, Brian. Emergency override code L374 engaged. <laughs> Atmospheric sensors indicate trace levels ammonia, methane, hydrochloric acid, or less than one part per million. status. Please use caution. Well, where is he? I don't know. He must have escaped. you and Janet here immediately. We've got a problem. Hey, it's 742 Thursday morning. The sun is shining. Coffee's brewing. Do you know where your parents are? Hurry up, are? Kim. We're Let both late. Do you care? Uh, first period's English. I'm always late. Mr. Duncan isn't mine. Well, I'm mine. You're never going to get anywhere in life unless you start taking some responsibility for yourself. Do something productive. Hey, I'm doing all right so far. God, I'll never make it. If you want to ride, you better get ready right now. All right, now I'm out. You want to keep it down out there? I'm trying to sleep. But seriously, folks, we got a real rocket coming at you now from the boys down at Mute Jam Records. Seymour and the new music streaming, baby, you've changed. Where's Dad? Lay it on me. What do you mean, where's Dad? Isn't he in bed? Nope. His car's not there. You sure he's not in his room? I may not be a college girl like you, but I'm not an idiot. He's not in bed. I wonder where he could be. We've got to do something. Call someone in. Nancy, you're not thinking logically. We're fully prepared to handle this situation within Talos. This situation is out of control. He's killed two people already, and now he's disappeared. Couldn't have gotten out of the complex. He has to be somewhere in the building. I've got two men searching for him right now. I don't want him killed. Elliot and I have devised a way to get him back to normal. I won't stand for it. Do you hear me? Sit down, Doctor. What would you have me do? Call in the police? Or better yet, the National Guard? Well, I'm not sure they would share the compassion and understanding you feel for Dr. Foster. They don't share the same romantic past as you and he. You saw what that creature is capable of. That creature is still Michael Foster. I'm doing what I can. Well, it's not enough, damn it. What about Elliot? What about John Griffin? What are you going to do about them? That has already been taken care of. You're a cold bastard. Yeah. 
Yes. Send them in. I'll ignore that last remark, Doctor. Now, you know as well as I that this entire project has been highly illegal from the start, and you have been a willing part of it. I feel terrible about what has happened, but we must keep this within the family, or everything we've done and learned will be for nothing. Michael Foster will be worse off than he is now. Please. Trust me. Come. Uh, Mitchell, Janet, this is Dr. Kane. Nancy, I think you'd better explain to these gentlemen exactly what's going on. Um, Doctor, I don't think we should explain. It's all right, Doctor. They have a level six clearance. They answer only to myself. Proceed. As I'm sure you're aware, a number of research and development programs here at Talos are subsidized by the government. Some, how shall I say it, do not exactly fall within the safety guidelines and regulations outlined and normally enforced by the government, particularly in the field of nuclear research and genetics. A few months ago, Talos was assigned a research grant by the Defense Department. A very strange request. We were given tissue samples. Alien tissue samples. Alien? Yes, alien. From another planet, apparently. We were skeptical ourselves. They were vague, almost tight-lipped about the sample's origin, which led us to suspect it was, in fact, some genetically altered biological substance from Earth. If that was the case, why would they tell you it came from another planet? We thought perhaps they developed this material for biological warfare and were using Talos to test what would be their alibi. This type of biological engineering is expressly forbidden under the UN Germ Warfare Pact. If they could fool Talos into believing that the origin of this material was in fact from outer space, they could fool anyone and avoid, avoid indictment. indictment for violation of the pact. Exactly. Unfortunately, they were not lying. Dr. Michael Foster, head of the entire genetic research sector, was put in charge. Myself as Dr. Foster's assistant, and Dr. Violini being the only three people with any knowledge of the research. Our problem started on May 4th, approximately 6.45 p.m. Michael was working with some cell cultures from the alien tissue. Containment seal secure. All functions normal. The doctor's actually getting paranoid about his little monster. You're a little monster. Come here. Uh... Please, dear, not in front of the mutants. Cryo interlock engaged. Are we still on for dinner tonight? I uh, don't know what time we're going to be getting out of here. Checkers. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh. Well, Checkers is certainly energetic today. Mm -hmm. Intermediate microbe distension filter. How far have you gotten? Well, I'm introducing some of the alien cell cultures into Spot's ovaries. The problem is, I can't find any plasmids in the alien cells. There do not appear to be any structures that contain identifiable genetic material. How can the cells replicate if there's no genetic code? As far as I can tell, the cells don't reproduce by fission as normal cells do. 
They seem to accumulate polyp-like growths, which just mass together and form tissue. I don't even think using the term cell is applicable. I tell you, Nancy, I'm stumped. Well, you'd better get unstumped. Violini wants a report by the end of the week. Well, you can tell hey, Violini. You can tell him whatever you want. I've got to go. Mm. <laughs> ah! Ah! Michael! Oh, God! Oh! 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 Emergency alert. Biological contamination. Oh, oh, oh shit! Michael, you all right? Oh my god! Cells! Oh! Emergency contamination. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. What do we do? Oh. Michael, what do we do? Okay, seven Nancy. Dial intelligence. Come here! Uh, 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 Hurry! Uh, 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 on my Michael, that's so furic acid! Oh, damn it! Don't argue with me! Just do it! I don't know. No. Oh my God, Michael. Oh shit. Michael. Uh, Michael. Uh, Elliot. Emergency alert. Please. Emergency alert. Biological contamination. Quarantine restriction code 7. Elliot. Dr. Elliot Stein? Yes, Elliot. Dr. Stein, a staff physician. Dr. Here. Elliot Stein, age 33, single. Father dead. Mother still alive, living in Chapman, Nebraska. Graduate, Harvard Medical, class of 77. Stein is staff physician, assistant to Dr. Marcus, head of pharmaceutical and chemical research. Yes, that, Dr. Stein. May I continue? Thank God Elliot was still there. You know, I usually don't make house calls. He was working on one of the mutants, oh, and it bit him. Michael, can you hear me? Michael. Michael. Elliot. He was working with some really strange cell cultures. They got into his... Oh, Jesus. What the hell was he working with? Elliot, they were cell samples from another planet. What? The cells come from a creature from another planet. Nancy, have you been drinking? Elliot, don't argue with me. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. The cells come from... I don't have time to stand here and explain this to you. Just help him! From another planet. Elliot? All right, all right. Jesus Christ. Cells from outer space. I had to change my name to Dr. McCoy. Have you noticed any pods? Elliot. Right, look, I'm sorry, it's just the uh, kind of where to start. Uh, Elliot! Elliot! Nancy, come here, help me. Hold on. I'm gonna hold this thing with him a second. Get him up, we gotta get him to a hospital. 
That will not do, Dr. Stein. Dr. Violini, we've got to get Michael to a hospital. That won't be necessary, Doctor. We have the facilities here to deal with this situation. I don't mean to disagree, Doctor, but this man has got to be... Dr. Kane will explain to you why it is imperative that we deal with this problem within the confines of this establishment. Nancy. Naturally, I explained the situation to Dr. Stein and... He apparently agreed that we should keep it in the family. I'm sure whatever Dr. Violini is using to black... was using to blackmail Elliot is in that little folder of yours. That will be enough, Doctor. It is not enough, damn it. You've had it in for Michael ever since the RCV incident. Dr. K! He'd been waiting for an opportunity like this. To get rid of Michael so that he couldn't... He's been looking for an excuse... To... A few months back, Michael Foster developed a retroclonal virus. A virus with the ability to seek out specific chromosomes within certain organ cells. This virus could have been used to hunt down and destroy malignantly mutated genes. Ultimately, it might one day have rid mankind of most inheritable diseases. Dr. Violini had other plans. Son of a bitch! You had no right to call the Defense Department in on this one. This is my project. It's my work. My responsibility. You are an employee of the Taylor's Corporation. Any materials you develop, any research you undertake is funded by this corporation. Hence, it is owned solely by this corporation. It is the Board of Trustees who determine when, where, and to whom we offer the results of our research. Not some big-headed PhD with delusions of... You incredible bastard! Michael! We are not discussing some secret recipe here. We are talking about a search and destroy virus that could be perverted and manipulated to wipe out selective populations of the human race. I will not be responsible! Oh, not that naive doctor, nor that innocent. You've taken a willing part in many projects whose objectives were less than altruistic. This is no different. I'm not going to let you get away with this. I'll destroy all the data, all the samples. Do not make irrational threats you'll be sorry for. This is no threat. I'll blow the whistle on you and your little mutant freak show downstairs. I'm sure the National Genetic Council would have a field day in this place. Subpoenas will be flying around here like a ticket tape parade. You are just as much responsible. You'll be cutting your own throat. I may go down, Doctor. But I swear to Christ, I'll drag you with me. You wouldn't. You want to play hardball? Just try me. Michael. Michael! He's a very stupid man. I suggest you speak with him. Set him straight. Before I'm forced to take more drastic measures. You're wasting valuable time, Doctor. Mr. Jarrett and Mr. Mitchell are not interested in your accusations or your fantasies. They work for me. If any harm comes to Michael Foster, I will see to it personally that the NGC strings you up by the balls. Mr. Mitchell and Mr. Jarrett are waiting. Please continue. Within hours, Michael's entire body had been infected. Elliot set up the lab facilities for treating Michael, but the mutations were too rapid and research led only to dead ends. As the days passed, Michael changed even more, as if his entire cellular structure was being rearranged, redefined by the alien tissue.
Nancy, come here. I'll need your help. Okay, now hold that open while I get a sample. God's name is that thing. I don't know, but I'm not taking its temperature. Well, look at this thing. Jesus Christ! Freaking thing's pissing on me. Elliot's theory was not quite accurate. These small masses of flesh contained a caustic venom ejected through a hollow quill in its mouth, I suppose. But like a bumblebee, once the stinger has spent its venom, the mass dies and virtually decomposes within minutes. It is not a pleasant sight. Yes? Who? I see. Give me a moment and then send her in. Wait outside for a moment. It appears that Officer Griffin's daughter is here, asking questions. She hasn't seen her father all day, and she's... Ah, Miss Griffin, come in. I'd like you to meet Dr. Nancy Kane. Doctor, this is uh, Stephanie. Sherry, oh. hello. How you? <laughs> your father has talked about you quite often, Sherry. I understand you're a very smart young lady. You're studying uh, computers, is it? Microcircuit design and engineering. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Well, when you graduate, I hope you come see me. I'm sure we can find a spot here at Taylor's for somebody with your talents. Thank you, sir. I'd like to ask you about my father. Ah, uh, yes. A fine man. One of our most trusted and loyal employees. Dr. Violini. My father has been gone since last night. I haven't seen or heard from him since. I'm very worried. It's not like him. I see. <laughs> well, uh, according to our log, your father didn't work here last night. Wait. You mean he wasn't here? No, it says here he called in sick. Yes, that's confirmed. Uh, another security guard is listed on his shift. This is very strange. It's not like him to leave Kim and me without calling. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure there's some explanation. I'll keep my ears open, and if he doesn't show up soon, I'll personally see to it that my people find out where he is. But thank you so much for stopping by. Feel free to stop by any time you have a problem we can help you with. We may have trouble with her. The question is, where could it be hiding? Where would it be hiding? I would appreciate it if you would stop saying it. 
that is still Michael Foster, no matter what he's turned into. I'm sorry, Doctor. I forgot how close you two were. Well, when I saw him last, he looked pretty slimy. It began to resemble some sort of garden bag or slag or leech. Uh, uh. my probe, or uh, shall I just take a reimbursement out of petty cash? Elliot. Uh, uh, this is no time for liberty. <laughs> By this time, even his internal physiology had transformed. His blood became highly caustic. His heart enlarged by nearly twice its original size, and he was becoming less and less responsive to the medications. Finally, after four weeks of dead ends, Elliot made a major breakthrough. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think we've got it. RMA factor zero point nine three six IMP. Take a look. A few minutes ago, that sample was completely infected by the alien cells. But this shows no sign of infection. Thank you very much. Elliot, you're wonderful. Yes, I know. How did you do it? Elementary, my dear. I've been noticing strange molecular behavior whenever I exposed samples through the electron microscope. The reaction to negative pulse phasing caused rampant destabilization of the molecular bonding, but only at specific wavelengths. As it turns out, cellular and biological activity is halted for a period of time when electricity is introduced. It can't be that simple. You've received total remission. When his heart stopped, we gave him electroshock resuscitation. It did nothing. You're talking about normal AC current. You got two problems there. One, there's no way to control or focus it at specific enough wavelengths. Secondly, the amount of energy required to stop and reverse Michael's metamorphosis would uh, fry him. Well? Well, what? Uh... Well, how did you manage it? Wow. Elliot! I, uh, I borrowed this little machine from the boys down in particle acceleration. An atom smasher? That's right. But it's not atom smashing I'm interested in. You see, the particles are accelerated through a series of electromagnets. As they travel and build up speed around its curved course, electrons fly off, sort of like, uh, like tires screeching when you take a turn very fast. But these electrons can be focused and manipulated to any wavelength. So I can control the output. And this way we can reverse the process and still keep Michael alive. That's what I'm hoping for, yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's give it a try. Nancy, hold on. Calm down. I still need to do a few more tests. Besides, this machine isn't nearly powerful enough to do the job. We can use Agnes. I think exactly. The cyclotron the size of Agnes will put out ten times the power we need. We'll have to construct a terminal in a room nearby the accelerator tunnel. And schedule the first test next week sometime. If we can keep Michael alive until then... I'll talk to Violini right away. You tell me exactly what's required, and I'll have him take care of it. You see, the particles are accelerating... Within a week, the terminal was constructed. We called it the atomic shotgun. Let me see that. Agnes, this cyclotron, it's never been tested? Construction has only just been completed. We expect a full power test firing tonight in... Less than six hours, as a matter of fact. And the engineers, they have no knowledge of this shotgun's purpose? Only the four of us in this room. Go on, Doctor. Michael's transformation continued while we conducted more tests preparing for tonight. Unfortunately, Bioscanner frequency shut down. All systems at standby. Warning, patient's heart rate rising. Blood pressure Blood pressure 252 over 140 and increasing. Blood pressure 286 over 190 and increasing. Blood pressure 303 over 215 and increasing. Nancy, I think he wants to talk to you. Warning. Heart rate is Blood pressure 210 over 240 and increasing. Blood pressure 
was last night last night early this morning so you really have no idea what this thing looks like my god it doesn't matter what he looks like believe me there will be no doubt in your mind when you see him sherry you're acting ridiculous you are really paranoid he was lying to me he told me my father never even showed up for work last night, that he called in sick. Oh, all right, all right, so maybe your father did call in sick. Maybe he had other plans, personal plans. Avili, he wouldn't let him off work. He for. would have told me. He would never leave Kim and me this long without calling. Maybe he did call. You've been gone all day. You're leaving the room. I didn't even think about the answering machine. I just got it a few days ago. Hi, handsome. Just wanted to make sure you're still going to stop by. I've got the martinis chilling. I'll be waiting. Ciao. See, what did I tell you? Your father probably got lucky. Shh. Uh, hi, honey. Um, I guess you're still at the movies. Uh, I stopped off at Susan's for a drink before work. I left my ID pass at home. I was gonna ask you to bring it. Don't worry about it. I'll use Jerry's pass tonight. I'm running late. Gotta get to work. Make sure Kim gets to bed early. See you tomorrow. I love you. They've got him. They're holding him there. What are you talking about? He's been telling me about all the weird things going on at that place. Now they've got him. Don't you think you're being a little ridiculous? He said he wanted to quit. That they were making him nervous with all the dangerous experiments they've been doing on animals and stuff they're probably experimenting on him sherry sherry this is absurd calm down do you hear what you're saying they don't do experiments on people i'm going out there out where sherry 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 will you slow down a minute you're not thinking straight hey dude where are you all off to have you heard from daddy yet They've got him. I'm sure of it. God knows what they're doing to him. Sherry, stop it. You're gonna scare Kim. What's going on, Sherry? Where's Dad? We're gonna go find him. He may be in trouble. We don't know that, Sherry. Kim, I want you to stay here. He might call. Screw that. I'm going with you. You're not going anywhere. Someone's got to stay here in case he calls. Besides, you'd never get in there. You want to bet? Don't argue with me, Kim. Just stay here. Screw you, Sherry. Sherry. Here, put this on. Yeah, for what? Do you think we're going to get in just because of these white coats? No, because of this. Oh. This is a security well, card, level five clearance. This will open any door in the place. Sher Sherry. Sherry. You cannot afford to make any mistakes. Any leaks outside of Taylor's. When you find this thing, I want you to destroy it. I want there to be no trace of its existence. What about the woman, Dr. Kane? If she cannot be persuaded to cooperate, to remain silent, we shall have to arrange an accident. Do you 
understand? Yes, sir. I can't believe we're doing this. Look, if you don't want to go in, just tell me. I mean, if our relationship means that little to you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Brian, this is my father. I know. Let's do it. God, he's enormous. This is it. We're dead. Will you act normal? This isn't the Mafia. Action allowed. Where are you going? Come on, just act natural. There'll be no problem. Late night tonight. Hi. Oh, right there. You forgot to sign in. Sorry, a million things on my mind. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is in the mutant business. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Got him. The people of Penguin Computers are giving me just 15 seconds to tell you about their new PC, the Poppin' XL. Before they drop me into this bit of poisonous vipers. <laughs> and the Poppin' XL cuts data processing and peripheral download time in half, allowing you extra time for that creative touch. And when you've got a deadline to meet, you can't afford downtime. <laughs> The Puffin XL! Don't let a deadline get you down! The name of the game is Stud. Penny up. Wait a minute. That's 11. Same as always, honey. Hot limit. Penny up.
son of a bitch. What the hell's the matter with you anyway? Making jokes like that? What if he asked you for real ID? Then what would Relax. you do? Relax. We made it through, didn't we? That guy was so stupid, he probably... Ah! Oh! Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? I don't know. Let's just get to Violini's office. fooling around. What the hell exactly are we looking for, anyway? Clues. Evidence. You're quite the dick, aren't you? What? Uh, a, a private dick. A, a detective, I mean. How do you expect to access any information? A system like this has got to require security clearance. You forget, you're dealing with the Princeton Computer Cryptography Champion two years running. There isn't a system or circuit I can't break into. And pardon me, Miss Summa Cum Silicon Chip. It's just going to take some time. Wonderful. These are the records from last night? He was here, Brian. He logged in. This proves it. They have him. I know it. It'll be all right. We'll find him. I promise. Ah! All right, what are you two doing here? Um, uh, <laughs> we were just playing Star Trek on the computer and... Oh, a comedian. You're the girl who was here this afternoon. You're Griffin's daughter. What have you done with my father? Where is he, you bastard? Uh, she's just a little upset. She doesn't really mean that. Where is he? I know you have him. What Shut have you done with him? Up.
It's all right. Just tell me who you are and what you're doing here. I'm looking for my father. Your father? You're John Griffin's daughter. That's right. And what have you done with my father, you bitch? Is your sister here too? No, just me. What's your name? Kim. Kim, it's very dangerous for you to be running around these hallways by yourself. You're telling me. What the fuck was that thing? What thing? What did you see, Kim? It was this huge, like, really gross. I don't know what. It ate some guy. Jesus Christ, what the hell is going on around here? Sherry, she's here too. She may be in trouble. I have to find her. It's all right, Kim. I'll find her. I promise. Please, just wait here and keep the door locked until I get back. What the hell are you doing out here? I don't oh, never mind. mind. Get out of my way. Over there. If I can get to it. Yeah. Oh, 
with her in the lab. You can't stop it, not with that gun. We have to get out of here and get help. There is no way out. The whole sector is sealed off. Quarantine status. What in the hell are we supposed to do? Sherry, can we go home now? You're not going anywhere. Red alert. Red alert. I got a job to finish. And you're gonna help me. Now get down to Blue Sector, double zero. Wait for me there. Sherry! Sherry! This is, like, really insane. Let's just get the hell out of here. You heard what he said. The place is sealed off. We're trapped in here. There's got to be a way out. Let's just go. Kim, listen to me. That thing in there, it... It killed Daddy. I'm sure of it. Red alert. Red alert. I'm sorry, Kim. But if there's a way to stop it, to kill it, I have... We both have to do something. At least to try. Then can we go home? Red alert. Red alert. What are you doing? 
You don't even know how to use this thing? I'm working on it. Let me see that. You understand this shit? A little. What the hell is this thing anyway? A way for us to stop that thing out there. Test firing in exactly two minutes. Test firing. A particle accelerator that runs in a two mile arc just below us. Please enter coupler interface code now. There it is, electron coupler. Activated by this access code. I got it. Hydraulic system. Okay, go. Throttle control engaged. Deployed. Magnetic stasis grid locked and operational. Don't touch those! Who the negative flux phase shift C minus 2.38 degrees. 97.42 megawatts? I don't know what this means. Well, figure it out. We've got less than a minute. Hey, get off her back. She's doing the best she can. In 30 seconds, that won't be good enough. I got it. I've got it. Power output. Magnetic coupling, this is it. You better be damn sure, sweetheart. It's gonna be my ass out there. What are you talking about? Electron synchronization at Someone has to draw him beneath the dispersion place. Closing to point zero zero two three. I'll get paid enough for this shit. Are you crazy? You can't go out there. You want the job? No screwing around. When I get that thing under that grid, you hit it. I hope you've got health insurance. There's gonna be enough radioactivity out there to microwave half of Newark. Don't remind me. Well, what should I do? Pray for me. You're sure? I've got it. Error. Error. System shutdown. Please reset. I've got it. System shutdown. Please reset.
Come to Flux capacitors engaged. Get out of there! Miserable fuck. What are you doing? Don't shoot him. Is 
Sorry, girls. Gotta tie up some loose ends. I'll get back in there. Now! Sorry, Molly. Doctor's orders. Nominal. Electron depletion at minus 26,000 RMS. Neutron absorption 12 billion KTS per cubic centimeter. Radiation level acceptable. I guess.